Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and it's a new release week for Blu-ray and 4K. So here's everything coming out for November 9th, 2021. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365. I also want to take a moment to thank all my Patreons for helping to support me through the channel. It is greatly appreciated. If you would like to support me through Patreon, I will leave a link in the description of this video. Okay, it is a brand new release week for Blu-ray and 4K for the week of November 9th, 2021. Now, the first couple weeks of November are a little bit lighter, but once we hit next week, especially if you're a Criterion fan, things really start to pick up. But there are a few titles of note this week. Nothing terribly exciting. There is the latest from Hugh Jackman coming out on Blu-ray and 4K, as well as a classic Francis Ford Coppola film It's making its 4K appearance. So yeah, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to dive right in to see what is coming out on Tuesday. This first group of titles will be available both online at places like Amazon and Deep Discount, as well as in-store at Best Buy, Target, Walmart, and Barnes & Noble. First up is the latest from actor Hugh Jackman, and that is Reminiscence. Released by Warner Brothers, it premiered on HBO Max as well as in theaters. Now, a standard Blu-ray edition will be actually in stores at Best Buy, possibly Target, and Walmart. Now, the 4K edition is being released, but it appears to be online only. This looks like it's some sort of mod release, not a wide one, so I wouldn't expect a slipcover edition with this one. So you're just getting a standard case. So if you're a fan of the film, definitely check it out, and a Blu-ray and 4K are both options for you to purchase. Next up is the 4K edition of Batman Year One 10th Anniversary Edition. This was previously available on Blu-ray. It is now coming out on 4K Ultra HD. I expect a slipcover edition, and this one will be available in stores and online. The 2020 drama Four Good Days is getting a release. The movie stars Glenn Close and will be getting a standard Blu-ray. The 2021 Western Old Henry starring Stephen Dorff is also coming out. And the 2021 Universal release Respect, the Aretha Franklin biopic, is coming out on standard Blu-ray as well as a Target exclusive cover. A few in-store items on the TV Blu-ray front this week. DC Legends of Tomorrow Season 6 is coming out. And Neon Genesis Evangelion Complete Series from 1995 to 1997 is getting a Blu-ray edition and both of these will be available in stores. These next group of titles will be primarily available online at places like Amazon, BestBuy.com, and Deep Discount. One or two titles may actually show up in stores at Walmart, though. One of the big releases coming out on 4K Ultra HD this week is going to be The Outsiders from director Francis Ford Coppola. This 1983 film stars a lot of actors and actresses, too many to name, but uh, it has been years since I've seen this one. I'm excited to check it out and this will be getting a standard edition, once again, only available online. Paramount is releasing the 2001 sci-fi comedy Evolution, starring David Duchovny. I believe this is the first time it has been making an appearance on Blu-ray, so if you're a fan of the film, definitely check it out. And also, The Addams Family, the original 1991 classic, is coming out on Blu-ray. Now, this is not the same edition that has been previously released. This is the one with the extra Mamushka dance sequence, and also keep in mind, if you want the 4K edition of this, it will be released in about two weeks from now. So if you're only going for the Blu-ray, now's the time to pick it up and get that extra dance number. But uh, yes, this one is coming out on Tuesday. And the 1991 classic comedy, L.A. Story, starring Steve Martin, is getting a release. I am extremely excited. This is finally getting a physical release on Blu-ray. I can't wait to check it out again. And the 2020 Lionsgate Christmas movie, A Gift from Bob, is also coming out on Blu-ray. Shout Factory is releasing the 2020 drama, My Salinger Year, on Blu-ray. And WellGo USA is releasing The Emperor's Sword on Tuesday. WB is releasing the 2021 documentary, Tina, on Blue. And Spirit Writing Free, A Spirit of Christmas, a 2019 animated spinoff, is getting a release. WB Archive is releasing a few titles this week from their catalog. First up, the 1973 thriller The Last of Sheila. The 1936 movie Fury, starring Spencer Tracy, is also coming out. 
and the 1933 thriller Ladies They Talk About is coming out on Blu-ray Tuesday. Also coming out on Tuesday is The Chinese Boxer, a 1970 martial arts film. And the latest from Ken Burns, Muhammad Ali, a film by Ken Burns from 2021, a PBS documentary, is coming out. And the 2020 horror film Bad Candy is getting released. And One More Train to Rob, released by Code Red, is coming out. This 1971 heist film will be available on Blu-ray. MVD is releasing the 2003 edition of Where the Red Fern Grows on Blu-ray. 2019 drama White Ass Snow is getting a Blu-ray release. And Coming Home in the Dark, a 2021 thriller, is coming out. And the 1987 thriller Mania Killer is also making an appearance this week. The 2021 thriller Val is coming out. And the 2008 horror film Wicked Lake is coming out on Blu-ray. I read the description of this one. It sounded kind of interesting, so I may check this one out down the line. And The Concubine from 2012, a drama, is getting a Blu-ray. And the 2005 film Edmund, starring William H. Macy, is getting a Blu-ray release this Tuesday. The 1926 drama Sparrows is coming out on Blu-ray. And It's Nothing Mama, Just a Game, a 1974 drama, is also coming out this week. And the 1983 thriller Human Animals is coming out. I read the description of this one. It sounds pretty messed up. But uh, if you're a fan of this film, pick up the Blu-ray this Tuesday. And the 1971 thriller The Designated Victim is also getting a release. The 1947 drama The Fabulous Dorseys is coming out. And Spring 1941, a 2008 drama, is also getting a blue. And Voodoo Virus from 2021, a horror film, is coming out on Tuesday. Also this week, the 2013 drama The Jogger and Dark Blood, a 2021 drama starring John Leguizamo, is getting a release. I watched the trailer for this one. It looked very interesting, so I may have to check this one out. Let me know if you plan on checking it out as well. And the 2020 thriller Surge is coming out on Blu-ray. And the 2013 drama Underdogs is also getting a release. A Blu-ray release of the 2014 drama Keeping Rosie is coming out. And the 2005 thriller Inside Out is also coming out Tuesday. And Water Lily Jaguar, a 2020 drama. Good Old Boys from 2020 is a dramedy coming out on Blu-ray this Tuesday. And the 2013 drama The Shift, starring Danny Glover, is getting a release. And the 2018 soccer documentary Champs is coming out on Blu-ray. And Kino Lorber is releasing a few titles from their catalog. And of course, these will only be available online. It also looks like it's going to be W.C. Fields Week from Kino with three titles to talk about. It's a Gift from 1934, a drama is coming out on Blu-ray. And W.C. Fields starring in The Bank Dick from 1940 is getting a release. And finally from Kino Lorber, The Old Fashioned Way, a 1934 film is coming out on Blue. And on the TV Blu-ray front this week is Season 2 of Snowpiercer from WB and Doomed Megalopolis, the Mega Collection from 1991 to 1992, is also coming out on Blu-ray. While there are no actual Criterion titles being released on Blu-ray this week, don't forget that the Barnes & Noble 50% off Criterion sale is now active and runs through November 29th. And finally this week, Target is running their buy two, get one free sale on Blu-ray and 4K titles. The sale runs from November 7th to November 13th and is available in-store as well as online. And also, Amazon is price matching a lot of these sale items, so check out either site for great deals on buy two, get one free. So that is everything coming out for Blu-ray 4K for the week of November 9th, 2021. If you're interested in picking up any of these titles, I will leave an Amazon link in the comments section. If you use it, it really helps out the channel. But I also want to hear from you. What are you planning on picking up on Blu-ray or 4K this week? In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.